Hello, Wintech warriors. Buckle in, because today we're going to establish communication between a CMT series and a non-CMT series HMI. More specifically, an EMT3120A and a CMT3152X. We're going to make all the necessary configurations within EasyBuilder Pro and create a simple demo project for both HMIs. In order for these HMIs to communicate with each other, they must be on the same subnet and have their own unique IP address. For today's demo, our HMIs are communicating with each other through an Ethernet switch. Watch along as I demonstrate how to configure network settings in our CMT and non-CMT series HMIs. In our non-CMT series HMI, the Settings button is located on the bottom right of the HMI screen. After selecting this button, navigate to the Settings icon. You will be prompted to enter the HMI's password, 111111 is the default password for all WinTech HMIs. In the Network tab, you can statically assign network info like I have or you can obtain IP address automatically via DHCP server. In our CMT series HMI, the settings button is located on the top left of the HMI screen. To edit network settings, select the lock icon and enter the HMI's password. The default password for all WinTech HMIs is 111-111. After entering the password, navigate to the Network tab and select the Ethernet port in which you would like to configure network settings. From here, you can statically assign network info like I have, or you can obtain an IP address automatically via DHCP server. Let's make some device configurations within EasyBuilder Pro so that our HMIs can communicate. Starting with the EMT3120A, let's take a look at the system parameter settings. First, you'll want to add the remote HMI that this, the local HMI, will be communicating with. In our case, it's the CMT3152X, so we're going to select the HMI option. Next, we need to configure the IP address and port number for the remote HMI which is 192.168.1.254. Please note that the port number, 8010, must be the same when configuring both HMIs. Now that the HMI has been added and the IP address configured, let's take a look at the Model tab. Because our remote HMI is a CMTX series, we will want to enable the Support CMT slash CMTX Communication Protocol option. Our port number should be auto-populated. For demonstration purposes, we will be using a VNC client to view this HMI. Let's head over to the Remote tab to enable VNC capabilities. I'm going to select Password Free for this demonstration. Let's mosey on over to our CMT3152X Easy Builder Pro project. First things first, let's set up our remote HMI within System Parameter Settings. Select New HMI and enter the IP address and same port number as the EMT3128. The IP address is 192.168.1.253 and that's port 8010. Within the Model tab, we're going to select the Support IP slash IE slash XE slash EMT slash MTV communication protocol and easy watch option. I've created demo projects for both HMIs. These projects showcase how the two HMIs that are CMT and non-CMT series models communicate successfully. On the EMT3120A, I've added a toggle switch that is addressed to LB1 on the remote HMI, the CMT3152X. When toggled, the switch will change the state of a bit lamp on the remote HMI. I've also added a bit lamp locally addressed to LB0. The state of this bit lamp will change when triggered by a toggle switch on the remote HMI.
The CMT3152X's project is practically identical to the other. I've added a toggle switch addressed to LB0 on the EMT3128, which will trigger a bit lamp addressed locally to LB0 on the remote HMI. I've also added a bit lamp locally addressed to LB1. It will be triggered by a toggle switch addressed to LB1 on the EMT3128. This is what we've all been waiting for, folks. Watch in amazement as the CMT3152X communicates with the EMT3120A HMI. I'm using the VNC client UltraVNC to view the EMT series HMI, and I'm using CMT viewer to view our CMT3152X. Behold the magic that happens when I trigger LB0 on the CMTX series HMI. The bit lamp on the EMT series HMI lights right up. Brace yourselves for this sorcery. The bit lamp on the CMTX series HMI changes state when the LB1 switch is toggled on the EMT series HMI. The two HMIs, despite their differences, successfully communicate with each other. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, head on over to our channel for more great technical tutorials. And come on down to our forum, it's a great resource for everything WinTech.